Hello, and welcome to a special program. It's special because we've got a very special guest here. He is a superstar in himself. He's an entrepreneur, a motivational speaker, a leader, and an ace racer. He's the Indian racing driver to win first ever race in the world using synthetic feet. And that also while driving a non-modified race car. <laughs> Okay, as you would have seen in the video, this man, Speed is his middle name. And you know, he's someone who is very tough, he's very resilient. And that toughness and that resilience came from childhood. He, he was born uh, with a bone defect due to which both his feet had to be amputated below the knees. But that did not stop him from chasing his dream. And he had a man of versatile interests. He had interests in disc jockeying, hair styling, soccer. And eventually, he narrowed his focus onto racing, speed, and cars. And that's what he is known for today. You can see he's won a lot of races, and he's the first only differently able racer to drive a non-modified car. And why a non-modified car? Because he believes in fighting fair. He believes in fighting hard. And it is this steely resolve and determination, and along with the wonderful support of his family, especially his mother, which helped him to win numerous podium finishes over the years. Today, at 34, he has a wide range of accomplishments to his name. And when we talk about 2020, it has been a difficult year for all of us. But for him, it is just another year. He is raking up the wins. Most recently, he won the MRF Saloon Championship. And it's been the talk of the town now. Without much ado, now it's my pleasure and my honor to welcome right here, face to face, VC Chetan Kurata. Hi, Tanvir. Thank you for Hi, such VC a warm Chetan. welcome. Yes. Thank you for a warm welcome. I'm personally very excited to be here online today. And uh, we could already see the participants um, are growing, are growing constantly. So I'm, I'm more excited actually. So, so Tanvir, yes. I believe we're going to be having a very exciting interaction today. We're going to be sharing a lot of opinions and views on our fantastic company and my the, the favorite products which I use every day. And I want to know a little bit more so I can share. You know, all, only my brothers and sisters and friends who are there today watching us can also learn a little bit about them. So are you Absolutely. good to go, Tanvir? Yes, we are good to go. It's it's great having you here, VC Chetan. And uh, um, believe me, you know, my, my my heartbeat's gone a little faster. It's really exciting to catch up with you today. And thank you so much for spending the time. And of course, a huge round of uh, thanks to all our uh, IRs who've joined us today. Let's kick off uh, VC Chetan. Uh, you know, I think this one question everybody wants to know about is how do you kick off your day? How do you kickstart your day? Um, I, I totally um, agree with anyone who says start your day early. 
you know because when you start your day early you get more hours to bring your objectives and goals into action so i try to start my day as soon as possible as early as possible sometimes 5 and sometimes 6 also so i put together my entire plan for the day i spend time doing mauna in the morning uh, mauna is taught by our uh, grand mentor dato shri vijay ishwaran which was later passed on from from my mother to me where today i practice it with a lot of my uh, downlines in the network we we practice mauna where we plan our day more effectively and i think it is important because many people would have heard about the process called mauna mauna is just not about sitting there in silence and writing a book it's about making the rest of the hours in the day more powerful and effective i would say so i'm sure a true go getter will understand what i'm speaking about so i'm more early to rise and early to bed but nothing is complete without a planned day you know when you have it properly structured i give my time for network i give some time a lot of time into my sport which has been my dream and that's the reason why i'm still doing what i am doing today is just to live that dream so i balance it out i spread it across and most important i would say family comes first so family time also at the end of the day so you need to i i sleep with this whole satisfaction that you know i've done something great today superb i i think you really put it uh, so aptly that the morning time the platinum hour and the importance of mona i think all our distributors have joined us today those of uh, them who are not hooked on to mona as of now should really get on to it and uh, mona is something that can really streamline your thoughts and focus your energies for the rest of the day wonderful uh, moving on uh, vc chetan tell tell us and everyone who is listening to you uh you know your life as a race car driver is of course really inspiring and motivating so what keeps you going what is it that really keeps you ticking uh, what keeps me going is the visual of who i want to be in the future stays in my head all the time where i see myself in the next 3 years and 5 years i'm sure many of us would have heard it from your uplines you know even when you heard the presentation for the first time when uplines ask you what are your dreams what are your goals they just not asking you to sell a product but let me tell you that is that that is a practice we all follow we have our goals and objectives strongly visualized all the time because if you ask me where was i 15 years ago i was just a, a youngster you know who's trying to live a dream trying to get there somewhere but 20 years ago before the opportunity came into our lives it i was just like anyone anyone out there with no opportunity but some kind of drive inside trying to live the dream some day but it was not practical probably a laugh for a lot of people but as our journey started here i started visualizing not visualize i started visualizing where i want to be and that became reality and i had to go to my next visual so that keeps me going so and i will say is my family when you love something so much when you manage to convince them they start supporting you and that makes it more complete for you to go and succeed out there yes i think i think the support of family is of paramount importance for everyone the love uh the you know the, in difficult times they always support you and uh, they encourage you when you do well and it's important to it's very imperative that we get the support love and affection and encouragement of our family and friends also it uh, is very true uh, in fact and we uh, just to add on family support is everything in fact um the my mother has always been the pillar of strength and confidence for me she always said you need to go out there and get it if you decided so that that's been the actual drive for me every time i felt that you know it's not going to happen probably i cannot she is the one who makes me believe what if you actually do and you prove yourself wrong yes so, having the yes, strong wish people to actually encourage you and push you forward is what is needed 
I think moms are like that. Moms are always our well wishers, and we always need their blessing. But I, I also feel, you know, I resonate with what you're saying that uh, moms also give us that extra push to achieve more heights uh, and achieve our dreams. Uh, moving ahead, uh, uh, VC Chetan, you know, let's talk about motorsports. And uh, India has always been, you know, a cricket crazy nation, if I can call it that. And somewhere, uh, do you feel that, you know, compared to Europe and South American nations, what is the status of motorsports in India? Um, yes, probably uh, many of you do follow cricket. Cricket happens to be, if I watch cricket, I watch cricket and uh, like IPL, World Cup, I'm watching it closely. So, but let me tell you, it's been a very dominant sport in India since there was no consistency in other sports. Let's speak about India itself. Talk about hockey, cop, uh, talk about kabaddi. Today, there are pro leagues, there are premier leagues happening out there. But where was the sport 10 years ago? Why wasn't it taken that seriously? So um, I wouldn't blame anybody out here, but I would say motorsports took its own pace. But motorsports has a very long history in the past, in the backside. You know, talking about 1960s and 1970s, there was so much of racing happening in India. Different kind of rallies, North Indian rally, South Indian rally, you talk about um guard side rally so many happening and then circuit racing uh, back then it was a shola varan racetrack where i used to have more than 200,000 people flocking there just to watch a weekend of racing and thousands of cars parked there motorsports was always a rich man's sport and it's still a rich man's sport by the same time today football has taken that name too there's a lot of money involved there's a lot of branding and today there's so much of followership for football so i would re, uh, i would definitely not put any sport in the in categories of uh, you know how famous are they or not every sport has its own set of crowd and motorsports with come uh, with hosting formula one for three years and we have international circuits today we have the buddh international circuit in noida we have the chennai circuit we have uh, the Coimbatore circuit, both being a Formula 3 great track. And we have three more tracks which are being proposed to open very soon in India. So this is truly a sign that the sport is growing big. And end of the day, I always, um, I would I would keep motorsports as a highly um, mentally and physically demanding sport. You need to be the 100% in a race car. So I would give it to racing, but it will take its time. It's got its recognition in the past and it still has. But all I can say is there's much more which is coming in for Motorsports India. There's so much of support today. The government is actually supporting motorsports. There are government quota jobs also for people from motorsports. And uh, so much of recognition from the government lately. So the sport is actually making big waves. Even after the lockdown, they were the first sport to open up for practice and uh, start driving. Great. I think you've, you've uh, very aptly and very uh, precisely summed up uh, the motorsport scenario in our country. And, uh, you know, carrying ahead a follow-up question to the, the motorsports, uh, especially in India, uh, we talk about motorsports. Uh, don't you think that, you know, uh, branding is very important? So how important do you think is it to be associated with a brand like Qnet? And uh, what's your take on the impact of sponsorships in motorsport? Because money is going to something that's, uh, it, this is not an, uh, you know, it's an expensive sport, if I can call it that. There's a lot of money involved. So what's your uh, take on this the impact of sponsorships? Sponsorships are the fuel for any sportsman for that matter today. It's you could hold a bat and a ball and go out there and play but you have become somebody when there is sponsors coming in but the sponsors don't come in without results you need to establish yourself to before acquiring a sponsorship from someone so um qnet has added a lot of value to my profile and i would definitely credit qnet 
for everything, including I think all these behind you see there with the support of QNet. And um, for me, every year out there is just not about carrying a sticker or a paint job of QNet. It's all about representing the brand. My every step, um, every movement I do there when I'm in on a racetrack, I need to remember that I'm representing a global family called QNet there. And I need to really put up a good show. And I'm so glad that I'm associated with a, such a giant today because you talk about football. They're just not with Manchester City. They're also owning a own football club. They sponsor various leagues. That would be tennis in the past and motorsports that have been in Formula One. They have been in Formula BMW. They've been in GP2 and they've been supporting me for so many years. So that way, I saw a lot of connection um, with QNet where surprisingly there were a lot of similarities between networkers and racing drivers. To be a, uh, to be a successful uh, leader in QNet or to be a successful racing driver out there, the very common factors which I involve, which is focus, determination, consistency. So these are the three things, you know, you, which we always keep in our mind. Stay focused, stay determined for that win, and stay consistent lap by lap. And that practice came into my daily networking also. I take, the seven, I take seven days of a week like a race. I stop on the fifth lap taking a break. My race is over. I got to start fresh again. So I'll say the race is over when you stop trying. Well, I think so, so correctly put. And uh, the way you've kind of, uh, you know, compared uh, the business with racing, I think it's all about, in, in life, it's all about going the next lap, uh, going the next mile, taking the next step. and uh, and you so correctly summarize the fact that the qualities, especially consistency and persistency, uh, are so so very important not only in motorsports but in life generally. And uh, speaking about uh, you, you spoke at length about QNet and its uh, sponsorships. So while we stay on QNet, uh, you know I know you are an avid user of most of our products. So tell us a little more about which QNet products do you use and what do you find special in them? <laughs> um, when, when, they, when the company had uh, mentioned once, you, you're going to be QNet India brand ambassador, I said that's, that goes without saying. You can't find someone more obsessed to the products than me there. Because um, the first watch I ever wore from my childhood was our watch from this company and till the one i'm wearing right now which is the cairo sprint super yeah, yeah if you want to have a closer look yes feel free click the button you get bvs for the purchase also trust me you get a closer look you wear it so i got a collection of cairo watches and um, today the indian store are coming up with a lot more watches which are so exciting and so I don't really fancy going into watch stores, but rather instead I go into a watch page into QNet India usually. So if I, I am more excited to see our watches on store. And of course, I, I'm a strong uh, believer of our technology products, which where we have a beautiful partnership with Sharp, with the brilliant air purifiers. And we, I, heard, I heard there's a new variant also coming in, which I'm too excited to see. And of course, I, I have an air purifier in every single room I stay. Okay, okay uh, I, I, I was uh, dust allergy in the past. I was uh, I was suffering with dust allergy and mite allergy. Sometimes when I don't have ventilation, I would suffer. But that's when I realized in our store we got something so fancy, I could just pack it in my car and drive around everywhere, like this air purifier hiding right there. Oh wow! Sensational. So, yes, exactly. Sensational. Sensational. So, VC Ketan is truly sensational, if I can call it that. And uh, you know, if I can take about a few seconds to tell about sensational, uh, it's got seven sensors yeah. and it takes care of uh, you know even PM two point five dust, mite, lander, 
VOC. It's a superb collaboration. And what's more, uh, in this COVID-19, you know, it tackles the coronavirus, also 92%, 1.5% of it. So it's certified by a huge number of uh, agencies worldwide. So uh, a, a wonderful choice. And just to, you know, reinforce here the fact that you, you were talking about Kairos watches and you were talking about the Kairos print, which is a new edition. Beautiful chronograph yes. watch. I think it's got the chrono. If you can just show it once again. Wow. Wow. Yeah, super. So so, I mean, everyone who's watching, if you don't have a Kairos watch yet, I think you're missing out the important times of your life. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, you know, uh, VC Chetan, I got to know from a source that you also are uh, fond of having a certain drink of ours. Can you tell us yeah. which one? Um, this course, um, I have this first thing in the morning. Um, I've got addicted to this product. So sometimes I could wait if I don't find this product. I wait for the stock to come back, so I start using it. Uh, the first one being cafe. I'm a big fan of cafe. I like our own coffee product because sometimes coffee is important during a conversation when you do a presentation but most importantly i would say a fresh start in the morning something to wake you up cafe has been the app product for it and uh, cafe is actually um, complemented with another beautiful product of the indian store which are the mono floral honey huge fan of it so one spoon of uh, not you don't definitely need an entire spoon a little bit of the monofloral honey with the cafe gives me a great start it's like a jump start for me too yes i'm sure and we uh, see i think the reason for that is uh, cafe you know with its uh, its natural it's unroasted and coffee beans and uh, and they have chlorogenic uh, acid and it curbs your hunger you know, it boosts your metabolism. It's good for your, uh, you know, uh, weight management also. And honey, uh, I can go on and on about honey. I think uh, it's totally I unprocessed. Honey outside. I stopped buying honey outside the moment I started tasting our yeah, honey. You don't have to. Yeah, absolutely. When, when we've got such wonderful variants, we've got three variants. We've got eucalyptus, jamun, and Indian laurel. And totally unprocessed honey, 100% natural. No additives, no antibiotics, no sodium. Wonderful honey. And honey is uh, very good for your immunity. It's good for your uh, allergies. It's good. It's an antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory. I, I think, wow, that's that's a really wonderful way to kickstart your day. Uh, you know, getting the power of antioxidants and, uh, you know, that kick from the cafe also. Uh, what else uh, do you use? And of course, I know... Yes, and, and those are the products I use personally. But otherwise, uh, my rest of the family uses, we have uh, NutriPlus. Um, we use most of the products of uh, NutriPlus. We have FiberFit, we use Edge at Home, and uh, the beauty products. So Great. May, many of you who often follow social media posts of my other family members, the other better looking family members of mine, they all are users of Beauth and uh, BioSilver, all these products. So great. So we are traditional users of our uh, beauty products, and trust me, they are salon levels. The quality-wise, they're just not home-use products. Um, dermatologists who have seen our products, who probably advise for my salons, which we traditionally ran and still running, say that these are excellent products please provide them if you can yes i totally agree with you VC we are packed with fantastic products in our company mm -hmm. but yes. i wanted to know something else tell me what do you have for the kids i keep seeing a different flavors for kids out there mm -hmm. and now since i've become a dad recently I, I i wanted to know what is that special thing about the kid product yeah, yeah, we 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 are re uh, you know branding and refurbishing our kids' products, and they'll soon be available. We've got a protein product for kids, 
they are already available in the store but we are rebranding them and they can you come up with a wonderful new avatar but uh, there's one product that i think uh, you know which you are taking in the, of course the family is also consuming nutri plus edge which is what uh, you know uh, i want to talk about and just bring my attention to everyone who's listening to us that edge is something that really gives you an edge that's why the name is edge you know it's not something we just thought of uh, because edge has got improved the glutathione levels in your body and uh, vc chetan i'm sure you already know this it works at a cellular level and because of working at a cell you see you know gives you immunity uh, is good for your bone good for your skin it's a fantastic product and especially for someone like you who is into racing and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, dehydration water loss during the time of the race and you need uh, you know energy levels to be really constantly high and i think edge is going to give you that slight edge not only in uh, racing but also in life of course in the business too yes and the kent water purifier which i also use at home i forgot to mention that so we use the kent water purifier at home it's important to have um, you know the health and wellness of a family is the first priority so i'll say i have acquired the ones which keep my family safe first then keeps me stronger and focused the next and third is share the benefits and luxury with my friends with the rest of the products superb superb uh, vc chetan thank you so much for sharing your insights uh, with everyone about the products uh, let's move on to uh, something a little more uh, somber and serious uh, uh, if i were to ask you you know uh, what was your lowest point in your life especially with reference to your racing journey and how did you transform your lowest point into something that pushed you to do even better sometimes it's um i will say i would advise people to fall and get up so you know how hard it's going to hurt sometimes you know for people who are born with a silver spoon or a platinum spoon you call it and haven't really faced it they might not have the same pace as the ones who are really more hungry who have been down to the gutter got bruised and beaten and up there to reform their life again and to basically revive their life again and people here i see in qnet are you know they're there everywhere everybody are hungry for the success in fact i believe they're in the right place so everybody have gone through their lows and i have seen several points uh, several lows uh, low points in my career in racing where every race is a learning curve for me most of my races i would have failed technical issues driver issues circumstances let it be rain or whatever but i took back something strong before i went into the next race because my career is not over with this one race the same way my networking is not over with just one day or one week i still got week 2 i got week 3 week 4 week 5 to still go and perform there but it's all about the attitude that it's not over here as i said earlier it's not over until you stop trying Super and you make your and and every time i lose there might be some kind of disadvantage but i work on that disadvantage to make it an advantage for the next time and with Super. people when you're surrounded by people who are very positive let it be your family let it be the right leaders and team members you got to stop worrying about what's going to be happening out there and putting yourself down you got to stay positive with the circle you're in and go positive for the next day so so wonderfully put uh, vc chetan i think it's so important and imperative not only not only in motor racing and and uh, in life uh, much more in business and uh, so much so uh, uh, you know yeah, i think i'll concur very strongly with your assessment about how we need to take life and your attitude it's so 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 really important to have a positive attitude towards failure and and a lot of times we avoid failure we 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 think that we always have to be successful i think but i 
I'll totally agree with you when you say that failure will teach you more than success will teach you. Uh, wonderfully said, VC Chetan, and uh, uh, we are coming to the uh, you know close to the end of this uh, wonderful talk, and I really want to go and on on and on. But uh, tell us, uh, VC Chetan, what do you uh, you know what do you have in store for us in the new year, 2021? Uh, I've been getting this question from a lot of people lately. Yes, a lot of people have this question about what do you have in store for 2021? Um, it is true. I have opportunities for all who want to pursue something in motorsports. So with my experience in motorsports for the last uh, 15 years, being this the 15th year, 2021, um, I've decided to put up my academy, nurture talents who will be competing at national level championships and eventually Fantastic. one day pull out some talents and take them international. So I think with the support of QNET, you know, I should be able to do that more uh, easier because my first, I would say my first set of students I would, I would keep in my list are distributors. They're more goal driven, they're more focused. And second, they're go getters and the right ones for the sport. But of course, I'm saying QNET will actually help you achieve any dream, let it be motorsport or anything out there. It happens only when you get down there and start working. So we wow. have opportunities, we have opening into motorsports for many of you who keep questioning me on my social media and ask me, you know, how do I get into the sport? So it's finally here. So you'll be getting a lot of updates through my social media posts and I'm sure QNET uh, India will help me promote it. So everybody gets um, a channel to get into it. So that's for 2021. I'm more excited. I think it's really exciting. You, This is kind of breaking news you know this is breaking news you've let the cat out of the bag wow an academy it sounds so exciting and i'm sure as we get further updates uh, on you know about the academy uh, most of our irs who are uh, you know who speed is the middle name for them uh, and uh, they would certainly be keen and interested to you know, look up uh, the details about the academy uh, thank you for that update and uh, finally you know, before we leave, uh, any parting message or any special message for our distributors, especially the millennials, you know, the millennials are go-getters. I know they are go-getters, uh, next gen. Uh, so what closing message do you have for our new distributors? This is it. Okay, first closing message, no shortcuts. You don't get it easy. You get nothing easy in life. The ones which come easy don't stay for too long. If it's a goal or a dream you are trying to chase, keep it strong, keep it as priority, make other people's opinions or their voices muted. The end of the day, it's you who's going to live that life. It's you who's going to face it if it's a failure also. But I will say, on this beautiful platform we are living on today, Maximize it, make use of it completely. Stay strong, stay positive, convert your disadvantages into advantages here. And as I always say, it's not over until you stop trying. So if our challenges are coming up, go challenge it. So challenge the challenges, I always say. Superb, thank you so much. I think I think I really am in love with this line. It's not over till you stop trying. But, uh, you know, with a very heavy heart and I don't want to stop this discussion with you. It was so it was so fun for me. It was a learning for me. And I'm sure all of our IRs who joined today also had a lot of fun. They had a lot of learnings and they had a lot of inspiration. I am inspired sitting here, you know, very far away from where you are. I am really, really inspired. Wonderfully fantastic discussion that we have. Thank you so much. And uh, before we leave, before we leave, I think there is a, there is something that I took the liberty of taking. This is something that you've written on social media, and you know, 
our team and uh, I and my team, you know, took this up from there. I, I we, we just close with this message and followed up by your uh, video. Uh, so this message is superb. It says, uh, you know, as BC Chetan Korada says, focus on performance with a never give up attitude. Superb. Values such as hard work, dedication, and passion, a winning mentality that's firmly based on achieving goals through fair means. Superb. I think that aptly sums up, you know, your life as a philosophy for you. And uh, it's so, so great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we all love you and uh, look forward to having more interactions with you in the coming days. Thank you so much, VC Chetan. Thank you all distributors for joining us today. Thank you, Tanvi. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank the you. Uh, Have a great day. Care. Bye. And so bye-bye. God bless everyone. All my viewers here. Thank you. See you. God bless.